Welcome to Boots 5. My name's William. Today I'm going to be reviewing the Thursday Scout. I'm going to tell you what I like, what I don't like, and ultimately whether or not this chukka is right for you. Let's get into it. Guys, thank you so much for joining me. As I said today, I'm gonna to be reviewing the Thursday Scout and I'm gonna discuss the leather quality, sole quality, fit and sizing, everything you need to know before you decide whether or not to buy this boot. So let's kick it off and talk about the style. So the Thursday Scout, like all Chucka boots, descends from one common ancestor, that is the Thursday, uh, sorry, this is the Clark's Desert Boot. So here it is, back sometime after World War II, a dude with the last name Clark returned from Africa uh, the World War II, the, the English theater out there in Africa, and he created this boot. Very, very simple. It has stitched down construction. The leather is stitched to the sole, and this boot blew up. Very, very popular, and is known as a chukka. And now today, chukkas have advanced a little bit. The Thursday, they put their own stamp on it, and they're calling it the Scout. So, some big differences between the Thursday Scout and the Clark's Desert Boot or any other chukka. The Thursday Scout is very slim, has a narrow toe box, has a low profile, stacked leather heel, and it has a full stitch down construction. I would definitely say this is a dressier type of chukka boot. Uh, it would fit into that category if you were to get it in one of Thursday's brown leathers or any of their full grain leather options, not the suede. So this is the mocha suede. And I chose this because I really like how dynamic the leather is. It's got some burnishing on the toe and it just looks really good. And, you know, I like suede for fall, winter looks. It adds a little texture, it's pretty interesting. So I went with Mocha Suede, it's also one of their most popular uh, of, the, of the Scout, the Mocha Suede is Thursday's most popular. But if you wanted to do it for a dressy occasion, which you could pair it with a suit, uh, then I would go with something like the brown or one of their other full grain leathers. Probably my favorite thing about the Thursday Scout is the fact that it has a leather stacked heel and that it's got, it's about an inch right here. And so that gives a nice slope to this boot. So when you're wearing it, it does elevate it above, I think, you know, the Clark's Desert boot, which is a little chunkier and just has like a chunk of rubber at the, at the heel. Um, it's just a little more refined with this. And there's some benefits for durability, for comfort and everything like that, that I'll talk about a little bit later. But from a pure style perspective, the fact that this boot has a, a little bit of a downward slope to me that just, and it, and it has the narrow toe box. Basically that adds up to a more shapely boot, something that just looks a little bit better. Chuckas, because there's not a lot of stitching around them, they can kind of they can kind of stretch out and they can kind of look a little bloated and, and not so great. But the Scout does a good job of kind of keeping things contained and being a really classy looking boot. Looking at the leather quality, again, I got this in Mocha Weather Safe Suede. So I really, really like Thursday's Weather Safe Suede. It's basically tanned with hydrophobic compounds like oils and waxes. And that means that unlike a suede boot that has been treated with a waterproofing spray, something with like silicone in it, uh, those sprays, they can wear off pretty quickly and that leaves your suede exposed so you can still get stains, they can still get water damage, even if it has a waterproof spray on it. But because this leather is tanned with oils and waxes packed into it, basically if it gets hit with water, it will always repel that water, it beads up, you can just you could brush it right off no problem, no damage to the suede. So that actually makes the Scout a pretty decent boot for if you get caught in a rainstorm or something like that, it's not gonna damage the boots so much. Now the Thursday Scout does have a glove leather lining and when you combine those two, uh, the, the glove leather lining does go throughout the entirety of the boot, so that's great for comfort. Uh, that also helps the suede kind of stick together and uh, be a little more durable in the long run. And combine those together, you get two and a half millimeters of leather, which is pretty great for considering the price of this boot. Now this boot is $149, it's under 150. Um, and so the fact that you're getting two and a half millimeters of pretty high quality leather, uh, and including the fact that it is basically weather resistant, uh, that is a phenomenal deal. As for the sole quality, this does feature a stitch down construction, which is a little bit different than how Thursday normally constructs their boots. Now Thursday usually does a 360 degree Goodyear welt, which is the gold standard for boots and is also really, really weather resistant. This is stitched down a little bit different. So you have the leather is stitched directly to the midsole, unlike a Goodyear welt. Um, and that shouldn't really affect the weather resistance too much because the, you know, that, that upper is also cemented down to the midsole. It's got the stitch. So the fact, and, and the fact that we have weather resistant leather, it should be okay. I wouldn't wear this in a river. If Kit, if you're watching, it's a little inside joke, but if you're watching, I would not walk through a river in these. 
uh, somebody mentioned, one of, the, one of you guys, the YouTube subscribers mentioned that I'm always walking through rivers in these videos, so it makes me want to always do it because it's pretty funny. Somebody pointed that out. But anyway, I wouldn't do that in these uh, because it is a little bit more leaky. It's going to be a little more leaky. So this is definitely not a like hardcore camping boot, but like, look at it. Like, would you ever use it for that? No. It has a pour on footbed, so it's very comfortable. Kind of feels like a sneaker when you put it on. It has a rubber studded sole. This as Thursday standard, very comfortable, has a lot of shock absorption and has a good amount of traction. So great for slippery concrete, something like that. Uh, it has a leather stacked heel, which is awesome, especially for a boot that is under $150 to get a leather stacked heel. Uh, that's awesome. And then it has a one centimeter top lift, which is another big benefit because I tend to wear the heels out pretty quickly on my boots. And so to have a full centimeter of rubber on the heel, that's going to make the period of time that I can wear these boots a lot longer. I can wear them for you know, a year and a half, two years before that heel really starts to wear in or, or look too lopsided to even bother with. As for fit and sizing, it's pretty easy to get the right size for your Thursdays. Normally, you just go a half size down from your regular sneaker size. I'm a size 10 and a half at sneakers. I get a size 10 or I got a size 10 in the Thursday Scout. Now, the Thursday Scout doesn't have any double E or triple E wide sizes. So if you do have a wider foot, you might want to try getting uh, a size up, you know, so you, if you were a 10 and a half in sneakers, just get a 10 and a half in, in the Scout. Uh, that could work. Or you might be just safer off are better off trying one of like the Duke or the uh, Captain or the President, something that already has uh, one of Thursday's boots that have double E, triple E wide sizing available. That's if you have a wide foot. Otherwise, uh, just a half size down from your regular sneaker size and you should be good to go. Here's my final verdict on the Thursday Scout. This is my favorite Chukka. And to be honest with you, I don't really like Chuckas all that much. To me, they're just not enough. Like it's a, a very simple construction. Chuckas to me, aren't enough boot for my boots. I like a little more dynamics in the boot. I like more stitches, I like more design. You know, I like, I like uh, something a little more beefy. Um, chuckas to me, they tend to leave a little too much room for your ankle and that could be uncomfortable to walk long distances. Now that's just true of all chuckas, um, not necessarily just the Scout. That's true of all chuckas in my opinion. But if you are looking for a chucka, this is definitely my favorite chucka that I have tried. And I think the price is phenomenal. So the, the value for money that you're getting is the best deal in chuckas that I've found, that I've seen to date. Now the thing I like so much about the Thursday Scout, especially when we compare it to the other popular version like the Clark's Desert Boot, is that it's much more narrow through the toe box. And I love that it has a one inch heel back here, leather stacked heel, because it gives the boot more of a slope and, and, and more of a slim style that's a lot more dressy. So if you wanted to pair this, uh, the Scout, with a suit, you could. I would, again, go with the Thursday brown leather or one of their full grain leather options. That's going to be a better dress option. But overall, this is just a way more stylish boot than the Clark's Desert boot. Um, and for that reason, that makes the Thursday Scout my favorite chucka. If you found this video helpful, please give me a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button down below. Also, if you want to see any of my other Thursday boot reviews, you can check them out. They're popping up right now. And until next time, put your best boot forward.